Exactly. <laughs> Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city. Help them liberate Marine. And I will see that you are rewarded. You think you got a reason with a wildling? No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Thalia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out what he is. Roderick! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I think she's the traitor. I was just telling you, sisters. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. I think she likes me. Or maybe your mother. Her flower blood is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. You'll never marry either of them. Never such an awfully long time. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't you need your sword. sword. Not where we're going. I'm not, I'm not going, going without my sword. sword. I'm, afraid I'm afraid you are. Here, Here I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> there. there. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh, oh. You're, you're coming, coming too. too. This is, this is Lord's, Lord's business, business, not a child's. I say, I she, say comes. she comes. I don't, I don't trust, trust her with my baby. How fares, How fares your father, your father Lord, Bolton? Lord Bolton? Better than Better yours. Than yours. <laughs> well, I didn't need to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was young. Still do? Still do? So, so many, many places, places to hide. To hide. I've gotten I'm very good at finding my people. Roderick? It's all right, all right Tyler. That, that reminds me. me. Where's Griff? Griff? I expected, I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment, disappointment to have to show myself, show myself in. in. And here I had such high hopes for that son. Griff was injured. The mason is looking up. I'm aware, I'm aware of Griff's injuries, and that you inflicted them. Oh, I really hope things might be different for you. I hope we could be friends. 
After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenlands. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is concerned, perhaps she should not have come to Iron. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Run, Run. You disobey me. You disrespect me. Someone has to pay. You didn't think you would leave you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else has left them. Arthur's done nothing wrong. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! No, no, trick! Why bother? You're nearly a corpse already. No! Stop! Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! Please, please! Talia, don't go away. It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make it stop! Please, do something! Don't walk Look at him, Talia. See what See your what brother's your brother done. done. Please, 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 Lord Ramsay. Sorry. Sorry. But, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick, Roderick show, show mercy, mercy to Griff? This, this is his, his fault. fault. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Please stop, Lord Ramsay. <laughs> no. no. Poor lad. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Your little uh, brother. <laughs> you just mad. You. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I yeah. never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a whole fast. I have better things to do than to play wet west to you and Lud. So, you settle this on your own. Last house standing. Win. Win. Otherwise, I'll kill you both for me, dummy. House Forester will win this fight. You're very <laughs> confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. <laughs> Ready the horse? Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. That's fucking crazy. I'll be right back.
here wanting how to fucking get caught. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Innocent blood shed on forest or land. What would father think? I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire north. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south... Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting, then... Where is he? Where is my brother? Let me through! Elaine. Roger, tell me where he... Oh, no! No! Oh, no! No! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. You can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was, he was so, so nervous, nervous the father, father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now, now to die, to die. Like, like this, this. Tortured. tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this, he's a madman. Ramsay, Ramsay was, here was here because of you, you Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies. Why not? I'm sorry. sorry. Let's get you some place, man. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick, despite how things died out between us. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. 
I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you. seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. We saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. You're in over your head, Mira. I know it, and Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. Nothing's worth losing your friendship over, Sarah. I would have said the same thing, once. I'd better go before she sees me. She'll be Forrester. Can I help you? You need to you come, need to with, come me. with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this, this difficult. That's mess. <laughs> Yo. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace. My nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. No battle is without difficulty, Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master Dizorzo Raza on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking 
You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in the region. You have my sympathy. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Michael. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while thou disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my sense of self. What? This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in the room. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their clothes. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forest arrive. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I, I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so, sir. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather subtle. If she does come to Westeros, we want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen, we thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. They're just words, Nesca. They can't make you believe. It was my secret to share. You don't know shit. I know, I know you're the toughest, toughest person, person I've ever fought alongside. alongside. Your past you can't hurt you anymore. anymore. Move on. We still, we still have soldiers, soldiers to fight. The little, little queen, queen is right. right. Marine, Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what we're waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asha. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the white ones. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Now, well, these fighters used to be slaves. I had to guess. I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Good.
It's getting worse, isn't it? We're only about a few days out from the Atma River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Right, Sylvie? We're not going North. We're going South, to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look, I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a direwolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? What does that have to do with the Hush, Cotter. I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie, Sylvie me. me. Some, Some wildlings. wildlings. Uh, free for. Uh, uh, Mr. Cotter, Cotter for a crow. Right. Can't, Can't imagine why. why. We, tried we tried to reason, to reason with them, and, and, well, 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 things got out of hand. hand. Out of hand? hand. From, the From the look, look of him, he was nearly killed? killed? Point is, is, you, you don't, don't belong, belong out here. here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while. He may, he may not, not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting, waiting months for you, Cotter, Cotter. And, when and when you finally you come, come home, home, it's with it's some, some crow, crow who can barely, who can barely build, build a fire. fire. No, no, we don't we need don't to die, die for him. him. Me neither. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildlife. You want to go back, Finn? Go ahead. No one's stopping you. You know I can't do that. Finn, Finn, will you, will you just, just piss off? off. Some, Some leader, you turned out to me. You, you should listen, listen to, him. to him. The further, the further north, north you go, you go the, more the more likely, likely you'll, you'll never, never come, come back. back. It's just it's not just worth, worth it. it. Once Cotter's fit, fit to travel, travel we, we head, head south. south. With or without you, Garrett. Sylvie. You need, you to, need rest. to rest. And we'll, and be, we'll wanting be wanting more than, more than onions, onions to eat. To eat. I, won't I won't go, go far. far. Oh, don't, don't be angry, angry Garrett. Garrett. This, this isn't, isn't what, what it looks, looks like. like. I can, I can explain. explain. First, First to find, find out you're a wildling. Wild now, now you've, you've got, got a sister. sister. What else what are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought, I thought she could, she could help. help. Sylvie, Sylvie knows, knows these woods these better, than, better I than I do. If anyone can find the find North Grove, it's her. Besides, I, know, right? I, couldn't, I couldn't just leave, just leave her. her. I won't, I won't do, that. do that. Not again. Okay. Then convince, then convince her, to her to go with us. With she's your sure. sister. Well, maybe, maybe she's, she's right. right. Maybe, maybe you don't, don't belong up here. here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't, I can't head north, north without, without a guard. guard. I, go I go where, where she, she goes. goes. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Garrett. 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 Never met a crow before. before. Sorry, Sorry, I almost, I almost killed, killed you. you. Might, Might have done you a favor, favor though. though. Plenty, Plenty of things, things want to kill, want to kill a crow up north. north. Giants, fens, shadow, shadow cats, cats and, ice and ice spiders. spiders. And the and white, white walkers, walkers, of course. A spear sounds sound nice, nice after all. I'm not a crow, not a crow anymore. anymore. I left that life. Always a crow. That's what, That's they, what they say, say anyway. anyway. I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit then. A 
think you need more training. Maybe next, next time, Garrett. I suppose onions, onions and apples, apples will have to do. What's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. You ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Carter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about him, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Look. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. That won't happen to us, Sylvie. I was sent to find the North Grove. That doesn't mean that you're. Survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. I know, right? But one bit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect a charm or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. I've been fighting alongside cell swords for years, Biscuit. I know how to talk to killers. Understand, these aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. One last thing, they're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows you a Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with really white asses like you, little brother. I can handle this. Huh? After you then. Well, if it isn't messes, the fucking bastards. 
We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back to where you came before I decide to eat you. I'll start with your eyeballs. Fucking juicy, little papa. Not here to fight, man. Just want to see Amaya. No, you don't. She doesn't want to be bothered by little men like you. Now, you've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One, two. <laughs> I like this one. Hey, Amaya! Company! Some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits, where things could get really nasty. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very bad. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shut up with her. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Bassas, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Enough of this horse shit. I'm not here to fight with you. I came because my friend needs you. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? Patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their debts and reclaim my own. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters, artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. Fighting bits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? I'll make you all rich! Your masters, they used you. They made gold from your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. 
You're gonna have to show who can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over. So what are you supposed to be? Your little axe? Your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the thing. Well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many white ones as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of balls. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you.
just, just make, make sure, sure they know, they know who's in charge. charge. The masters who once held your chest. My bad, Beyonce, it was too late. And <laughs> don't die. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. I offer you all a new life. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fighting under someone else's rules. I won't hold you back. Fight with me, and there are no rules. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you. It's lit, sweetie. We coming back with an army, girl. Hey. I knew that. What are those things? Oh, God. Over here! Over here! Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. 
I'm told you know these changes as well as anyone. You're quite my curiosity, aren't you? You made it clear your loyalty was with Lady Marjorie, yet now you hardly serve her at all. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It only matters what you think, Your Grace. Don't try my patience. Insincerity will only make matters worse for you. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet... Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I asked a friend to help me. I see. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. I had to speak with Lord Andros, Your Grace. It was urgent. Lord Andros? I don't imagine he'd appreciate being approached by a person of your stature. You've been such a busy little handmaid. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her. Your secret. Only when I must, Your Grace. That's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl. And perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Yeah, she gonna kill that nigga. That's what I'm talking about. Savage. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. After you sold me out to Daenerys, given a lot of thought to staying here, leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have. I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what, I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you in without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe right for plucky. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Go on. I'm surprised to see you here. Aren't you glad I didn't kill him? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. 
What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, Celsius. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. How about fire and blood, Uncle? Isn't that what the Targaryens say? I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking the wine. I told you to be careful. You twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. 
What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you, and will continue to do so, until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady March make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie doesn't know. And I intend to keep it that way. You're fooling yourself if you think it's your secret to keep. And without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. Please, Lord Tyrion, I beg of you, help me. The only help I can offer is a bit of advice. Become a better liar. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Leave. Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. It was fucking. I, I hope you don't have any regrets about this. About us. My only regret is what happened to you, brother. If I'd only. Please, let's not talk about Arthur. Not now. What will we do now? Now that we are sleeping with you. What we are. We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff, not his father, not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, oh, I, I didn't I realize didn't you two were, were... I mean, I, I didn't realize, realize she was... Talia, oh, yeah. you knock it Sorry, I should I have... have... <laughs> it's just, it's this, just is this is urgent, urgent Roderick. Roderick. And... It's, it's, it's all, right. all right. I can go. I can go. You two you need, to need to speak. Boy, I'll see you soon. Oh. Oh. He was getting him some... Listen. Last, Last night, night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, nightmares. So, so I... Go on, Talia. I went, I went back, back there. there. To the to grove. grove. And, someone and someone was there. Was there. What do you mean? Look. Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held. He even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered, he endangered our house. house. You have, you to, have deal to deal with him like you would any other man. man. I'm sure he, he had his reasons, reasons but, but no reason is good enough. It's your it's duty to tell me it was wrong. And mine to pass judgment. Just, Just promise me you'll kill him, him Roderick. Anyone, Anyone who would betray, betray us like, like this deserves, deserves to die. die. I'm asking, asking you as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, now, tell me. 
Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Who you think it is, sweetie? You better hurry up and answer. You may be too late. Almost 
This is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher. Thank the gods you made it back. You look better. No time, no time for small talk, talk. Hope you're, you're ready, ready for a fight. fight. Lord's got Lord's something got planned. planned. I don't know so what yet. Yeah. It won't be good. Been stuck it's on a boat for weeks. weeks. Can use you to fight. fight.
he couldn't really do shit anyways. <laughs> I had to, I had to, you know, somebody. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I'm starting to hate it too. I'm not gonna lie. He's not gonna show us what happens next time. Oh, that's stupid. I don't think he's gonna show us what happens next time. I think. saving Asher.